Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Be A Goalkeeper episode 48. As you can see we are still at the very tippy top of La Liga, playing 14 games and winning 12 of them, drawing 2, only conceding 6 goals in all that time. And we are still on for the invincible season, the only game we have lost I think was in the Champions League, looking at the Champions League, we are top of the group and we have qualified and the first match is actually in the Champions League but before we get into it if you could leave a like on the video it really does help on my channel, subscribe if you're new we're so close to 4,000 subscribers and turn your notifications on so you do not miss a thing let's get into it first bit of action comes from us as silver in the box hits it straight past the goalkeeper and puts us in the lead within eight minutes of this game starting the roma defense literally parts like the red seed i think they're playing three at the back but what has happened to the middle center back there he runs out to meet pedro and leaves the space in behind silver is there varan can't get across either ref off around playing for roma who would have thought that and their goalkeeper is nowhere near it. 1-0 up already in this game. Now Roma trying to pass up for a back. A little mistake. We intercept a quick pass. It hits it first time. But the keyword does get across his line nice and quickly. Keeping it out. Keeping him in this game. From the resulting corner. Silva's up to take it on his left foot. Whips it into the middle. Ronald gets there first. Hits it low. But the goalkeeper gets down quick enough to hold onto it nicely. But again we're on the attack. A little flick to De Jong. Tries a long range. But it's easy for the goalkeeper. No problem at all. Hits it on the volley off the crossbar though, what a strike that was from Darwin Nunes, didn't expect it, caught me off guard, the technique is beautiful and look how far away I am from getting this ball, would have been a great goal to concede, I would have been happy with that one. But now just 5 minutes before half time we get another opportunity, it's Hernandez who can't quite finish that one again, the goalkeeper is performing very well, now we're literally dying, but there's a game 1-1 one -one with me but I'm there to make the save, it gets cleared and that is the end of the first half, only one goal in it, Roma have played okay but we've had so many opportunities, they could have scored one or two as well into the second half we go will there be another goal hopefully it's for us but we are the first one to attack long ranger somehow the goalkeeper has made this save with a man in his way and again on the attack 52 minutes look at the space in the box just shoot why 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 why? For some reason he chooses to pass it but we do get the ball back at the edge of the box but another block from the defender. I have no idea why he's not shot there. One of the goalkeepers chose to pass it but finally we do get another goal. 57th minute it is Ferran Torres who rifles that ball into that top been no saving it from the goalkeeper we have just bullied this Roma defense with the quick pass and they have no idea what they are doing the space is up lovely the two wide center backs this time leave the space the middle center back has no option to do anything he kind of has to leave someone or go towards the ball but either way we have the extra goal cushion Roma on their first attack in the second half good block there it falls back to him and I am there springing across my line with the save then not long after the Roma opportunity we are back in the box it's Pedro and he makes it free it was never in doubt he has to complete Composure to finish that one. It's just a simple pass as well. A little through ball past the defenders. Look at them. They kind of leave such a high line. He runs off from behind the defender. I think it's Varane again with another mistake. Hits it at the near post. The goalkeeper is a bit too minds. Can't decide whether to stand his ground or come up quickly. Does a bit of neither. 3 0 up. 13 minutes left of this game. Roman with a through ball to Darwin Nunes. <laughs> And I have no idea what I have done here. I have just literally moved out of the way and let him have a goal. Losing my clean sheet from a stupid error from myself. I can't even blame my defenders. It's an okay through ball. They did leave a bit of space in behind. Nunes is there. But look at this. Straight at me this shot is. And I can't just look at it and move out the way. Would it be a be a goalkeeper episode without me making a mistake? Absolutely not. Now we're into the dying embers of this game. We're on the edge of the box. Little flick. And as Pedro makes it four. Puts a nail in the coffin for this Roma team. They're never going to get back into it anyway. Not enough time. But Pedro has his double in this match. Rafinha Gova gives him a little hug. But again, a beautiful play on the edge of the box. Little flick. Get a little bit lucky, but double flick. Just quick passing. Roma defenders can't ever get a grasp of the ball. And it ends up to Pedro in the box. He hits it as hard as he can. Straight past the goalkeeper. Making it 4-1. And that is the end of the game. Silva, Torres and Pedro with the goals. I played okay. Letting in a stupid error though. Their goalkeeper did absolutely nothing. And now we move on to the next game. In the league against Levante at home. You saw my little Tifu there looking absolutely marvellous. The fans are still behind me after a little mistake. The first bit of action in this game comes in three minutes. It's Pedro who gets a goal. Another early one for us. We don't mess about. We like to get an early goal. Just to settle the nerves a little bit. You know we're going for the invincible season. We cannot afford to lose any games. I really want this achievement to be honest. 
honest. But again, it always starts from the edge of the box, quick pass, and Silva holds on the ball, waits for the run from Pedro, and he has to do nothing. It lines up perfectly with the ball, just side foots it, straight past the goalkeeper, who I feel like should be saving it. There's not a lot of power in the ball. It's not exactly in the top corner, so maybe he should be doing a lot better. But in six minutes, they have an opportunity, and look at that for a save for myself. Since that goal, Levante have been all over us. Now they're trying to overtop through, but I run out and miss the ball completely. Take out the man, but the referee doesn't give a penalty somehow. I've got away with that one. Now 22 minutes, sweating the ball across. It's Pedro once again, making it two. 22 minutes for the second goal and the second goal for Pedro as well. 2-2-2 two, two, two everywhere and we love to see it. But look at the defensive line. It's so high. The space is there for Torres to run into. The pass across is like in the six-yard box. The goalkeeper can't get out quick enough. The defender can't really make a challenge. He's the wrong side of Pedro. And it's an easy goal for him. Now four minutes before the end of the half. A good tackle by the defender but Upamecano kind of wins it back to De Jong who finds Schick who lays it off to Torres. Hits it first time at the near post. How has he squeezed that one in the goalkeeper must be napping he has no right to score from that he kind of like toe pokes it or like it's a weird strike in the end of it but somehow he generates the power to beat the goalkeeper and as much as I defend goalkeepers all the time I cannot defend him for this one his position is absolutely awful he's literally nowhere near to cover that near post and that is the end of the first half three nil up and we have just been dominant Levante probably should have had a penalty which could have brought him back into the game but either way they have not done too much but they do start second off with a long ranger it's probably going wide but I had to make myself a little bit dirty to put a bit of effort in and now they're into box decent shot but again straight down my throat probably should have scored again they're definitely getting back into this game but Silva with a power strike straight past the goalkeeper making it four in the 61st minute he has no right to score that either the defenders has given him all types of space he's definitely put an end to Levante's charge back into this game straight through the defender's legs the goalkeeper can't get across his line maybe the defender's obstructs his view but either way it's 4-0 now it's just been so dominant for us we have been so ruthless with our goals and this time we try another long ranger taking the mick a little bit goalkeeper does perform the save but now Davies into Schick lays it off to Torres who finds Schick back at the near post he strikes it and again this time the goalkeeper has learned and makes the save now it's over top through ball to Davies on the half volley but again the goalkeeper is there but we're just playing like, out of our skin and having a bit of fun with it but finally the game ends 4-0 Levante it's a bit of a mere performance from them, but to be fair, when we're playing like this, no team has any opportunity to win. And now we move on to the next game against Atletico Madrid. It's a massive game. We all know how tough they are to play against. Can we squeeze a win out of this one? We will have to wait and see. We're the first ones on the attack. Rafinha and De Jong. We look at a passing at the near post, but the goalkeeper, Oblak, is there. Now it's Torres getting covered by two defenders. Pass it across. Finds his way to Rafinha, but somehow Oblak makes a save with his foot. Finally, Madrid on their first attack. Whips in on the bicycle kick which just trickles past the post I think I would have had that covered anyway now it's Hernandez in the box strikes it but just over the crossbar and that's the end of the first half already it's a very tight and cagey match we know how good Atletico Madrid are at defending we're pretty good at attacking but who will win attack or defense let's find out in the second half we are the first ones in the box hits it and in the post and Schick scores somehow he finds that top corner I messed up with the replays but have another look the through ball is beautiful Schick finds that little pocket of space in there and somehow finds that top corner it's in the 67th minute and that shows how tight and cage this match has been not a lot of opportunities but Schick is there to get the goal he hardly ever scores to be fair but when he does it's an absolute banger we could get another one 77 minute long range but Old Black is too big and large to let us score from that sort of range and that is it for this game only a 1-0 but it's another clean sheet for myself I told you it's gonna be a tough one and it absolutely was now we move on to the final game of the episode in the Champions League against Genk. We've already qualified, so it's a bit of a nothing game, but we have to play it anyway. And as always, we're the first ones on the attack, nice and early on this game. It's Hernandez who finds Schick, lays it off to Pedro. He gets the first goal exactly on the five minute mark. And Pedro has been unbelievable in his last few games. And he gets another goal to add to his collection. But what a kick doing. We have so many men flooding the box. Space opens up. The goalkeeper is rooted to the floor. He has no chance. The power is there. He could have gone left, could have gone right. Went for the near post. The defender tries blocking it, but doesn't really commit very lazy defending now we're just showing off with some long range pass and out wide to Pedro whips the ball into the mix on the volley but the goalkeeper does make the save that's a ridiculous would be goal but the goalkeeper ruins it for us but we are not letting up in this game another opportunity at the near post the goalkeeper makes a save from the corner we whip it and it's Pedro on the header loops over the goalkeeper and the defender on the line he makes it two for us and himself with the brace 
what a corner that is and somehow oh. the smallest man on the pitch most likely scores from the header at the near post as well gets in front of the defender who's marking that near post area and somehow just loops over the goalkeeper the defender kind of blocks the goalkeeper from reaching you see that weird little animation his arm goes up gets stuck behind the defender then moves into another animation it's a bit weird but i don't care because we get another goal it is so foul on the line who does block that left hand from reaching up but it's a beautiful header loops over into that side net and nestles there and now 23 minutes on the clock as hernandez charging down the left side of the pitch hits it across the goalkeeper hits the post though very unfortunate the goalkeeper gathers up i bet he's happy for that one nice easy one distributes the ball out into the midfield but we win it back again schick to pedro charging through the defenders though one of the goalkeeper hits it early catches him off guard gets his hat trick within 25 minutes of this game what a performance from him he has just taken this game by storm but it's a mistake from the goalkeeper and the striker trying to hold the play up but defensively as well they get caught out don't quite set themselves correctly just leave the space and dive into tackles 3-0 up Schick here gets past one of the defenders finds Torres in the box he lays it off to Silva but so foul gets a toe in there to put Silva off and that is the half done and dusted Pedro with all three goals, we've been absolutely dominant, Genk with not even one opportunity in this game, into the second half, 57 minutes now, Davies who finds Torres, hits at the near post, but hits a side netting, decent attempt, but our left back and right back are dominant now, look at that though, Hernandez whips the ball straight onto Schick's head, but finally they do get an opportunity, I am forced into a save off my line quickly, but now it's back to what we've been doing the whole game, 1-2 to the edge of the box, long ranger, keeper does make the save, but finally the game's over, not a lot happened in the second half, we kind of just coasted through it and we do win the game 3-0 and that is my first Champions League clean sheet as well to add to my 11 in the league I can't believe how many I've got to be fair the best I've played in my whole career but sadly that is going to be it for today's episode I hope you did enjoy if you did don't forget to leave a like on the video it really does help out my channel subscribe if you're new we're like 100 subs away from 4,000 subscribers and turn your notifications on so you do not miss a thing and as always look after yourself stay safe and I will speak to you next time Goodbye.